welcome back to Is This Blank series where we talk about all things books and in particular books from my childhood to books I'm currently reading and everything in between. In this video today we're going to be talking about the Shadowhunter series but because there are so many books in the Shadowhunter series we're bringing it down into subsections. So you've got the Clockwork series, you've got the City of Blank series, you've got the Lady series, you've got the Chain series, and you've got the other books, kind of the spin-offs or the Red Scroll series. So we're going to break them down to those sections. Today we're going to talk about the first one, which is of course the Clockwork series. The three books, which I'm going to say, stunning. From fact, these are the only books that I like that have humans on the front. Because the other ones that they make with the humans in the front, not as pretty. So, wow, let's drop the books and let's chat about them. So, we're going to be talking about the Clockwork books. I don't, can't remember when these came out, but they came out, I think, early 2000s? I would say early 2000s. I don't remember. It's on screen right now. As you can tell, my copies are a little bit distressed. Um, and I actually wrote my name and signed them because I used to give these out to friends to read. But let's talk a little bit about the Clockwork series in particular. So reading the blurb for the first book, magic is dangerous, but love is more dangerous still. So this follows the story on 16 year old Tessa Gray who arrives in England during the reign of Queen Victoria. So set kind of in the, I think the 1800s, which I ah, love that. And Basically, Tessa seeks refuge with the Shadowhunters, a band of warriors dedicated to um, rid the world of demons. Draw even deeper into their world, she finds herself fascinated by and torn between two best friends and quickly realises that love may be the most dangerous magic of all. So, we have the two boys on the front, the best friends. So, anyone who's read these types of books will know. Love triangle. So... I think from memory that's Jem and that's Will and then we have the illustrious Tessa on the front so it kind of follows along their story and it doesn't matter if you read the Shadowhunter books before this because it does help kind of with some reference clues just kind of gives a bit more of a backstory I do believe these came out after the City of Bones series came out um, I think the first three City of Bones the City of Blank books came out and then these came out. Normally you can tell based on like on the back, it already shows the first three, indicates, you know, that shows more, that shows more, so, you know. Anyway, straight off the bat, this is my favourite section of the Shadowhunter series. It's just written beautifully. The characters are stunning. I have a favourite. I'm a gem stan. Love him to death. I choose him over Will any day. But also Will is a good boy, but I picked Jem. Give me the boy, give me the white hair boy. But it just follows along on their story. It talks about just the fashion choices are beautiful. The way it's written, you feel like you're part of the story and it's just heavenly. Like these books are just so divine to read. It's one of the few books that I reread countless times. Like I've just reread them so much just because they, they work like they're clean the storylines make sense I'm not confused I know what's going on it's just good like this is just such a <sighs> if you're a person who loves like the 1800 style you know like military aspects the love triangles the like shadow hunter you know uh, what's called like fantasy books this books are the ones for you as you can tell, these are a bit of a, a thick, thicker. Um, definitely not the thickest that this book series is made, nor is it the thinnest. This book here, which is the first one, clocks in at roughly just under 500 pages. But that's also including the epilogue, which I highly rec recommend reading because they're super useful for these books. And I just love the way this is written. So this is set in 1878. Just so you know. And it's got like, you know, who it's dedicated to, 
a river song which I think is beautiful like it's I don't know just something about it this book came out in 2011 so I think this came out in 2010 people have seen it on screen already but this is me trying to remember I remember reading this series as a kid it has such a special place in my heart not only this entire franchise but just the series in general the city of blank series holds such a dear place in my heart which I'll explain in the video which you can see up there um, but would I recommend this book for people to read yes for sure I do not recommend watching the TV series that is shit it's a whole ass another video I'm going to talk about but I highly recommend reading these books I would recommend reading these books maybe first and then obviously reading the city of bones but if you already have the city of bones series and then want to continue reading that it would be more than fine to read this book after as that's what i did and then i read the because it's kind of like a the pre-books and then you have the books and you have post books and then you have later down the track books and then there's books in between there's a lot of weird random books but that's what it is i try not to give any spoilers in this book but let's just say I love this book series and not only does this book series work really well the romance and connections and just the way they all interact with each other the connections that these characters make in particular like these three don't just stop in these books like they continue on into the other series and they continue on into the entire series like you can tell that this was clearly thought of it wasn't just a, oh, they're going to have a friendship here and that's it. It was a, they're going to have a friendship here and maybe it will like, progress or they'll have issues or arguments or stuff may or may not happen. And you can clearly tell that this was a thought out book series. It is absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend. Obviously, if you're a book collector and you love to get the books that will match the same, do whatever you see fit. Just be careful, however, while these books all sit beautifully together like so you can kind of see there I know in the City of Bones series they can get a bit dicey with their sizing so be very careful um, while yes it does piss me off don't care as much but just keep an eye out for that in case I didn't say this was written by Cassandra Clare who I'm a big fan of she's done lots of great books movie TV show adaptations <laughs> not as much but again that's a whole other video for another session and yeah definitely buy this book I would say this is for people like 15 slash 16 up yeah like 15 up it's not too gory in this one there's nothing really bad in it nothing too over the top but it's just more like you know if you're gonna read it when you're 13 that's fine Honestly, it's up to you when you guys read, but I would say recommended. Maybe these ones like 13 up, other ones I would recommend different. But if you've read this book series, let me know who your favourite is. I always wanted to be Tessa in this book series, I still do. Um, but if you read the book series, let me know who your main man is. Is it Will? Is it Jem? Is it one of the other boys? Or is it some of the other boys in the other series? But thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what your take is on the clockwork book series and I shall chat to you guys in the next video of the Shadowbrones series. Bye!